Kate Middleton is looking radiant in red. The royal stepped out on Tuesday to attend a diplomatic corps reception at Buckingham Palace in London, which was hosted by King Charles and Queen Camilla. At the event, the Princess of Wales stunned in a red embellished Ginny Packham gown, which she paired with the lotus flower tiara. This is the first time she's rocked the tiara since 2015, according to People magazine. Her look also featured a nod to her late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth. Kate wore earrings that once belonged to the late monarch. Camilla, Queen Consort, also wore something that used to belong to Queen Elizabeth. The royal stepped out at the event, donning the Belgian sapphire tiara that was once Elizabeth's. Prince William is first in line for the throne. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how Will and Kate are stepping things up in order to one day be the head of the monarchy. Kate and William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign in comparison with the Queen's will be very short lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things, without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.